It's all right. Well, yeah, so yeah. You're not yeah. bad, eh? Oh, here we go. Here we go. There you go. Yeah. All right. It's, it's anyway, bad. it's bad. I'm just his buddy. I came with him. No, that's Australian. Yeah. 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 He always slips in. Yeah. Cheers, Ori, Cheers, bro. Ori, Ori Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. All right, I'll just be from Australia. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nora. I'm Nora Alvor. <laughs> <laughs>
watch the day games and, and then catch this, the condensed games, you're still yeah. going to be up to speed as much as, er, as everyone who's watched the games live. But I mean, personally, I like to go out to do that whole live tweet play by play that I do right, at yeah. these, these um, strange hours. And it's, it's really what I've built my following for that on. And it's how I increase the, the, the range of the, the fans that I, I, I able to come across and try and build this UK Astros fan base. Right, right. I'm really committed to that. I can't, I can't stress enough. I've reached yeah. out to the Astros themselves. They know it. And I'm going to keep banging on that door until mm -hmm. something happens. Cause even if it's a way of where it's only like baby steps, we need, we need some kind of progress. I keep saying it when I'm here, this club is too good and this club is too significant in a city which doesn't get the credit, I'm telling you from the outside, doesn't get the credit that it deserves, having yeah. now experienced it. Yeah. It needs to be on a global stage. You see, you know, you see that, you see that, obviously not this with the, with the sort of surrounding, but you see that symbol with the, the, the H on the star. Yeah. There's no reason why that can't be like a, a, trans, a transcendent yeah, logo right, in the way right, that right. the NY is, in the way that the LA yeah. is. It, it it needs to, to to be given the platform to break mm -hmm. into that, and and I know that MLB has some archaic marketing yeah. guidelines which and red tape which which stop teams from doing that. But there has to be a way. There has to be a way it can be done, and, and I'm willing to listen to whatever yeah. the Astros or whoever have to say about it. I, I feel like it's kind of getting there. Weirdly, I mean, I I see mm. people walking around in New York wearing Astros hats, and That's I think good. I think this whole bad boy aura of the Astros mm -hmm. is kind of helping with that. I think especially if this. If the success continues. Yeah. I think in about 10 years, 20 years down the road, Astros hats are going to be seen a lot more, maybe not as much like the NY no, it's, Yeah, the it's never going to be LI. that level, but yeah. That's but, but those are just so iconic. But I think the mm. Astros are on their way. And I think people, like what you're doing is fantastic over across the pond, getting people to respect that logo and, and, and just exactly. talk about the Astros in a way like that is, is, is amazing. Who would, uh, George, who would be your dream matchup for the Astros to face in a London series? Mm. That's a really good question. Um, if you, yeah, really good question. I, I'll be honest, I'm just going to say Dodgers just because I think that mm. there would be so much needle as we'd say involved in that. Like there'd be so much kind of uh, tension yeah. and I think the, the stakes would be higher than just a regular season series against an yeah. opponent. I think, I think that would be one that would be, it would be awesome. There are a lot of Dodgers fans in the UK. This it, someone asked me yesterday um, at the game. They said, "Oh, who's who's the the most widely supported team in the UK?" Uh, I would say that it's a, probably the Red Sox. You, you'd say yeah. you think it was the Yankees, but because there's so many people that just wear it for as a fashion yeah, statement, right. vast majority don't actually have a clue who the Yankees are. So you right. could ask them and they, they wouldn't know. So, but, yeah. but the Red Sox, whilst they are also have that that B as a, as one of the yeah. kind of fashion statements, they uh, they do which have a really large following yeah. in the, in the UK. Mm. Um, and and social media wise, they've had a, a, an excellent supporters group that's been going for at least twenty years. But um, wow. The Dodgers have a good fan base. Surprisingly, the Blue Jays have a lot of fans in the UK. Yeah, Blue Jays, that makes sense. yeah. They, I mean, I think, Canada, I, yeah. I think a lot of people who travel French from Canada. the UK to Toronto yeah. then kind of like catch the bug and then come back, and it's mm -hmm. it's spreads from there. Right. What? Let's let's rewind a little bit. Yeah. Let's go to the very beginning where you making the jump to create the Twitter account. Yes. Let's let's go. Like, what gap in the marketplace did you see? What like brought this to life to now? How Absolutely, many years yeah. later you're you're here yeah. watching in Houston and seeing mm -hmm. that come to life? So well, go, go back to even further into like how you became an astronaut. Okay, I'm I think a lot of people have asked this question. Absolutely, and, and, and I, I do I do like answering it because it's um it's a good story even if I say so myself. So I'll do I'll do that one and then I'll come to, to that as well because yeah. they both obviously link up. Yeah. So let's go back to 1999. I was 14 years old. Um, played a lot of cricket. Uh, as a bowler and um hell yeah yeah and uh i was um i was up late and on a network channel in the uk they were showing the sunday night and wednesday night feeds of uh of espn's broadcasts mm -hmm. so i, I had that baseball yeah um you know um john miller and joe morgan was, oh, yeah. many so, memories dude, of I, I love that the i best love duo. that commentary best duo. they're the best yeah, yeah i mean just, just the way the conversation Ugh. flows it's like that's what I grew up on. Yeah, too. I honestly, I, I, mean, I do actually miss that. I really, really miss that. But um, so yeah, so, so I was watching that and I thought this is this is really interesting. I don't know anything about it. Got no connections to America whatsoever. So like I, I literally had, I was starting from point zero. So I didn't, that's why I always talk about my love of baseball as like a second language because it's not my mother tongue. If you like, I, I grew up with sports that are more typically associated with England. Um, so I, did, I, like, I didn't have my, my, my dad wasn't sort of teaching me about baseball. So I've kind of had to make my own journey. Um, and I still feel like even now, I still feel like there are times I'm, I'm kind of, as, as I said, it's a second language. So I'm still trying to make sure that I'm doing things the right way, etc. Yeah. But going back to, to then, so I had free reign pretty much of all 30 teams to, to choose from because I, I knew that if I wanted to get into the sport properly, 
I'd have to choose a team to support. You know, you're right. never going to follow otherwise. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah. So I, I was trying to work out who I wanted to support. Didn't want to go the the bandwagon or glory hunter route because you know, that's that's just not fun. It's yeah. cheap and it's mm-hmm. it's not not worth doing. So the Yankees were immediately off the table. It was right in the middle of the that dynasty, and you know they were a great team, but no, it was just never never an option. Right. So I wanted to pick a, a, a good team that had never won a championship. And it was actually Mike Hampton who was the main reason why I, I chose to become an Astros. Just wild, like, yeah. Mike. So you know, Bulldog. He, he was a he was a, he was a good hitter. Could uh, rake. Yeah, I like. I mean, obviously nowadays we're kind of spoiled because Atani is ridiculous, and it's like that just doesn't even factor in. It's, it's just beyond comprehension. But in terms of what for when we were in the National League, yeah, he he as he said he could rake. So he kind of in my mind trans translated a bit as what we call in in cricket and all rounders someone who can bat well and bowl right so i kind of that kind of attracted me to, to, to the astros naturally there was the whole you know killer bees with bijo and bagwell as well which i, I coming as a, as a completely fresh new fan didn't really know much about but still could tell it was exciting yeah um so i'd made the decision after that season finished after 99 season finished that i'm going to become an astros fan mainly on the basis of Mike Hampton. So it's uh, crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. so, That's all. My and then si- my sister had a huge and crush then, on dun, him. Dun, dun, dun. Before this next season starts, he gets traded to the Mets. I'm <laughs> like, right. <laughs> what do I actually do? Because like I, I'm 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 sat there thinking, okay, do you I've literally made right it. Now. Yeah. So you I'm like, dodged do I dodged a bullet. I yeah. <laughs> I really did. Yeah. <laughs> you a lot of heartbreak. God, <laughs> thank goodness I didn't. But um, but yeah. So I'm thinking, do I become a Mets fan? Do I follow Hampton to the Mets and become a Mets fan, or do I you know stick with my original choice and become an Astros fan? And I I made the decision. I thought no. If, if I follow Hampton to, to the Mets, I'm going to end up changing my team every year or yeah, two. And right, that's, yeah, that's yeah. not going to be an authentic mm-hmm. experience of the sport at all. So I was like, no, I picked the Astros. This is my choice. And 23 years later, here I am. So it's, uh, that's that's how, that's how, to answer your question, that's how I became an Astros fan. Yeah. And I think it's interesting because I look back on that and I think it takes, when you make such a conscious decision rather than when you're a child and you're brought up and kind of indoctrinated in, into supporting a team, it takes time for that love to become a genuine love so when we lost for example when we lost in the 2001 um nlds to the braves like yeah i was sad about it but i didn't, wouldn't have lost a moment sleep about it because it's cause I've, i'm just kind of getting into right. this into the yeah. sport so yeah. it's like i didn't really i don't know the history i'm, I'm like oh okay but the team i'm sporting it'd be lost, different yeah, with your cricket team or your well yeah your, whoever, your yeah, football I'm, club I'm, yeah because yeah, i'm a chelsea yeah. fan so like yeah if, 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 if that's something i've grown up with you know it goes back mm. in my family my dad's side for generations so yeah that they, I, I, I remember we lost the fa cup final to Man United in 1994, it was devastating. I was there, I, I was, <laughs> we lost 4-0 and it was awful. But um, but yeah, so in, in terms of when we look, you know, that love grows over time. 2005 World Series, yeah, I was, I, it, that hurt. I'll be honest, that did hurt. You know, mm-hmm. Jeff Blum hitting that home run off Ezekiel Stasio was, uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly. Uh, it, All four was, games were And it was like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Death yeah. by like how a thousand you, cuts, like how are we going to lose this game? Yeah, I mean, you talk about a sweep, but like, what was it, by like four runs? It was, it was yeah, you know, like every five, game was four, one, five runs. Every, yeah. every game was a one run, right? But um, so yeah, so I th- it's just an interesting thing for me. I've, I just f- found that over the years, it's grown to a point where now it's like it's now part of like like who I am, like totally, like everything is is everything you see what I do on on Twitter, even when I'm putting out sort of silly, over enthusiastic tweets, like tons of exclamation marks or whatever, you know, and and putting in the the stadium style graphics I like to create and, and yeah. To yeah. Come, try and add to the experience. It's you know that's that's a genuine feeling. I I am that excited. Obviously, you're typing. It's a bit of a sort of robotic process but it's, it, it is actually how i'm feeling at the moment when, when i'm doing it um and to, to go to you to your question about how did i how and why did i start astros fans uk let's go back to the dark years 2013 at the end of that i i, I had managed to resist joining twitter until i was 28 so like i i didn't i was like didn't want to go on it i was trying to stay away from social media because mm-hmm. i just didn't really have any interest in it it's actually my wife she definitely regrets it now who convinced, <laughs> me, to, who, who convinced me to start a twitter account just a, a personal twitter account and um i found that in doing that i was able to really like in, in november 2013 I, I started my personal twitter account and um i found that it was a way that it really helped me get back in touch fully with astros baseball um i found i felt like i was drifting away over the years like it was it was hard to keep up with and i was like right this is this is like obviously i'm still a fan but it's hard to be on board with it and I, I, I got back on there, realized, wow, Twitter is amazing to stay up to date with everything. It's like, oh, right, yeah. I'm now fully back in the picture as I want to be mm-hmm. going into 2014. And, and, and that season, which was really the start of the whole process is what yeah. we were doing. Um, and yeah, so I, I actually live tweeted Astros ball games on my personal account for, for like a couple of years before anyone oh, was wow. really following me. I don't even know why. If you, <laughs> if you search for like, um, like in 2015, the, um, the ALDS, the one where, oh, game four against the Royals. You can see, but you can still see the tweet. Like I'm like 
Crab crushes one out of here. Is this real life? And I'm like, <laughs> there's like one like. <laughs> so it's um, so yeah, I don't know. I just I just enjoy doing it. This is the, for the love of the game. Well, I think it's I mean, yeah, one for the love of the game, and two because I didn't have anyone to talk to about yeah. it. So I'm hoping there was kind of something out there. And yeah, then right. fast forward to, to the middle of 2017, um, MLB UK as they were at the time, now MLB Europe had uh, an event in conjunction with MLB called Home Run Battlegrounds in, in London in Hyde Park, which was like a home run derby type thing involving um, uh, a cricketer, Joss Butler, and I think it was Carlos Pena. That sounds um, awesome. That sounds really cool, yeah. Um, in the lead up to that, um, I'd, I'd, I had recently started Astros Fans UK, like genuinely maybe a week, two weeks before that, um, mainly because I think I'd, I'd seen Blue Jays fans UK, a guy, a guy called Steve Hunter, and a really nice guy. Um, and he, they had about 500 followers. And I, and I, I, I had a few other Astros fans in the UK that I'd come across, like about six or seven. And I was like, right, you know, I need to start this because yeah. they, they, they've obviously, they've, and I saw the 500 followers. I naively thought they were probably all from the UK. They definitely weren't. But, they, um, <laughs> but I was like, right, this is what we need to aim for. So I started up Astros Fans UK and in a week or so after that, someone reached out um, in the lead up to that Home Run Battlegrounds event um, to say, we need a representative from each of the 30 clubs to come to a pre-event in um, in West London um, held by a, 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 a sports broadcaster, a guy called uh, Colin Murray. Does a lot of um, footballs and soccer stuff mm -hmm. um, mainly. But yeah, so, so he... He invited us there. The footage is, is is still there on. I'm pretty sure it's still there on Facebook. You can you can see it. It's, it's awesome. It's a great event. Like it was it was amazing. It was a, it was a moment where we all came together and we were like, wow, there are actually other baseball fans in the UK. Yeah, right. So we and then we had we came up then with the brainchild of MLB UK community, which is another group that I'm part of. We hold our live watch party events under this hashtag MLB Meetups UK, and and we're trying to grow the the profile of MLB generally. But for for me, that was a point where like it was like go time. This is this is it. So as Astros fans UK, I knew that then was a responsibility. I felt a sense of responsibility then that if I didn't do it, I not to, I'm not putting my my fellow UK Astros fans down, but if I didn't do it, no one's going to do it. Yeah, right. and, and like that, that would be awful. I imagine you've got all these clubs represented, and then suddenly the Astros didn't have it. So I the, the, I, I took the decision then to to do it, and it's just grown and grown and grown. And I mean, I think. I've been very, very lucky with the way this week has gone, the, the generosity that of, of these opportunities, which, you know, I, I kind of do feel a bit guilty in a way because you've got lifelong Astros fans who live here who are like, hey, why are you getting this opportunity? It's like, I'm not trying to be, you know, like I said to you, I'm not clout chasing. I'm right. not trying to be like, hey, look at me. I'm some big shot, whatever. No, I'm just yeah. a fan from the UK. Right. But I do love the Astros and I do put in a ton of effort to, to push that right. that agenda 24 hours of the day and doesn't make me be better than anyone else certainly doesn't make me better than any fans here but it, it it's just it's genuine it's legit and that's right. why i do it i think one of the big things that you've been able to do and for my well, one i think you in perspective for myself that coming down to the stadium or, or leaving the office and going to catch a game like i take that for granted mm. and just being here and i think you've really brought some real perspective to, to my life but two i also think that the account that you've grown has been a a lighthouse and and, you, and and the sense of like you've been able to to find fans all over Europe and around the world and not only showcase them but give them a platform mm -hmm. off your platform as well and to be able to to bring that sense of community together I think it, it, it's special but two I, I think that a lot of people don't realize that and we talked about there's so much more that can be done in, in Europe absolutely as a as entirety as a league as a whole yes um and i i think you're you're leading that 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 fight and and pushing that ball mm -hmm. down the field it, it's really special to watch and, and obviously we're very lucky that you you've been with us since the jump since the inception of apollo and still grateful for that ball, right? yeah they, no it's 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 been it's been awesome to just see you grow and what you do to help us and, and vice versa but uh the uh, when someone's just like hey what's george i'm like he's a lighthouse I'm like, what do you mean by that? I was like, he's able to, to bring people together in this unique way where there's not a blueprint. No one's done it before, yeah. and you're you're figuring out on, on the fly. You're almost building an airplane like as you're in the air, <laughs> and it's it's just remarkable to see. No, I appreciate that. It it, it is yeah. There there is there is there has been trial and error in there. I try and work out what works the best. I think, like I said, I think, and I'm not trying to kind of blow my own trumpet or whatever you want to call it. You know, the the live tweet play by play. I don't think anyone else does it. Like honestly, you look online. Mm. There was an account, a UK account, which was called By the Men MLB, which had a very small following. I actually really liked it. It, it, it didn't offer the opinion which I offer, like with plays. I'll be like, I'll actually try and offer color to it and try and make it more interesting than just like 
Altuve hits home run over the corporate boxes. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> uh, or period, sorry. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, like so it's... <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I, I don't, you know, I don't I don't see anyone else doing that. Okay, obviously, people do yeah. their end of inning recaps and things, but I'm trying to literally, and it's difficult, especially with the pitch clock. My God, oh, it's difficult. Yeah. This year, <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> yeah. You're a stronger man than Damn you! Yeah, um, you got to have proper tunnel at this point. Huh? Yeah. You got to have thumb issues, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, yeah there's, there's like a, a dent in like what's what kind of which is there? I think there probably so you can just sort of see it. <laughs> I'm like trying to do that at the same time, but it's um yeah, it's, it's it that kind of adds the fun of it in a way. When we have a big inning where we have like where you know we we, we bat around in, in, in an inning and suddenly. You know, this is like, oh my god, how am I keeping up? I'm having to tweet at the play before, and I have to do it because if I don't, it just it sort of makes it doesn't quite it doesn't quite work. So I, right. I I still try to get get that out, and it's 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 you know, it's, just fun, it's fun doing. It. I think that the account has been built largely, especially with my Houston based followers, through that because they see it as it's happening. And the the, the biggest compliment which I can take, and is one which I love every time I hear it, is when someone says, "Hey." I couldn't watch the game. I was following your tweets and I'm like, wow, okay, cool. I've actually, I'm actually helping yeah, Astros fans yeah, right. like follow the game and they're trusting my opinion and trusting my, my kind of recounting reporting of the game to rely on it. And um, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Honestly, that's really yeah. re rewarding. That's amazing. What is, uh, what is some of the, now that you're here and yep. we can go into the, what you've done over the last few days mm -hmm. and what your other days look like, but you have this influx of, of followers and all this stuff. What's kind of, your next goal, let's just say for the rest of the season, yeah. uh, as this momentum you have mm -hmm. when you when you go back, are you going to be able to 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 take this? And I, I feel like you're you're writing a blueprint for other f like the MLB, you know, f mm. UK Phillies or Blue Jays, whatever team when they come stateside. Yeah, you've almost given a blueprint of of how to experience this this week that's just been mm. storybook for you. Yeah, I, th I think there are. Other, there were a couple of other examples of similar trips which which have kind of followed a, 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 a similar way uh, kind of timeline. Like you mentioned, Dave, UK Phillies, great guy. Um, really, really good guy. Uh, he does a tremendous job with them and kind of had a similar experience in Philadelphia. Uh, another friend of mine, Nick, who does LA Angels UK, similar experience in, in Anaheim. But now I feel like Houston is like, this, that's where I'm I'm solid now. And I've yeah. got I've got this connection now and, and yeah. this is this is not in a sense of ownership, but like, this is my city. Like I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm here and I can, yeah. can use that positively going forward. My goal, I want to get strokes across the globe with more guests on it. It's been a bit of a dry spell. I had an, an incredible run of, of people coming on and I, I was very lucky to get field access for batting practice whenever it was two days ago. Uh, um, and I said that to my contact there who was able to sort that out. I said, look, I want to get more people on, on there. He was like, yeah, we can, we can, we can speak about it. So, I'm hoping that this will be able to open doors for that because I, I want to be able to give Astros fans interesting content, accurate content and original content. So yeah. when, you know, when I, when I do my Astros Across the Globe podcast, I'm very, very aware of trying to avoid this cliched, how are you feeling about this yeah. you know, question? It's like, no, I want to talk about your motivations. I want to talk about your journey, how you got here, why you do this. And, and then um, and that's similar to what you're asking me now, like this kind of what, what it's about deeper questions like human human questions mm -hmm. to, to to flesh out that character of, of everyone that we but we see these people but they're human beings like you know we, we can say oh how did you not make that play like you know this is this a regulation play we are, like i was um saying to one of the guys when i was on by the field the other day he said yeah they're human beings you don't know they might have had you know one of their kids might be ill like they might have had an argument with the with the other half or the you know this is mm -hmm. it's this it, kept them up all night it's, we don't know what's going on in their lives that and obviously sense. like this stuff which isn't our business but at the same time there are kind of other things going on which which it's, it's interesting to know about and to kind of gives more yeah. to that character so we can know these these people better and you know we, we identify with them so i i just want to keep building what we're doing i want to i want to be able to find more uk uk astros fans that's kind of you can't you can't put a finger on like, oh, I want to have five new fans by the end of this week. Right. It doesn't yeah. work like that. Because people right. people yeah. use social media in different ways. So like some people will, I mean, I've had, I've had someone reach out to me yesterday and a couple more the day before that. I've probably had about three or four since this trip began, which doesn't sound many, but honestly, each one is, a, that's another, that's another win. You know, each yeah, one cool. is, a, is, a, is a W for me mm -hmm. and for the UK Astros fan base, if we can get more, because what I'm doing, like you said, is I'm connecting them to the, the main fan base here. And that's that's the main thing because then there's a mutual respect and and we you know we all love the same thing and and it, it's opens doors and it, it just makes the whole Astros fan community if you like a really kind of tight family and mm -hmm. we, we, yeah. we've been through so much stuff in the last three years like you said 
honestly, the, I, I, I still kind of get angry thinking about it after the scandal. You know, you any anytime you tweeted anything, it was like bang, 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 bang. It's yeah, like you know, anything yeah. you tweeted, and it was it was ridiculous. I didn't personally mind because I'm, you know, it doesn't bother me. Like yeah. social media is social media. Mm. As much as I love doing what I do, if it disappeared, it wouldn't kill me. It's like you know, it's it's like right, right, right. it's I enjoy doing it. It's there. Mm -hmm. But for others, you know, that that might be their only route into being an Astros fan. So I see people who like had a few followers. They'd be talking about the Astros, and then suddenly they get bombarded with yeah. idiots going like bang, bang. I'm like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna defend these guys. That's 100%. my people. So like you know, yeah. it's not gonna happen. So I I, I, I will. I'd sort of treat them in a way like I kind of have to to, to look after them in, in that sense, and I, and that, that hasn't changed. I just want to grow this thing. It's it's hard to kind of measure right. it, but that's that's the goal. I think I think a big thing, and and you, you hit on it post post scandal. Astros fm base has been very like uh, almost like a flock, right? Like yeah, you've been exactly. able to yeah. uh, mm -hmm. come together, and, and that's how this has come together. Uh, but the other side too is I I don't think Astro fans get enough credit of how welcoming they are. Uh, and I think it's being showcased with your journey here this week, but also when other fan bases come in, yeah. I've met countless fans across other fan bases over the last three, four years uh, doing this, but like the Houston fan base will, will banter and, and, and push the envelope and talk crap, but you know what? I'm going to go buy you a drink yeah. we're gonna, and we're going to sit here and just be human beings and we're going to, and exactly. you're going to give crap back. I'll give crap back. But at the end of the day, like I think the Houston fan base doesn't, because we've gone through so much yeah. online that there, mm -hmm. I think there's this weird kind of like Houston fans are so like, you know, protective. But when you actually come down and watch a game yeah. here, unless you're just a complete jackass to a human yep. being, then then you're the worst. But yeah. when you when you come down and visit games, like it's so welcoming here and yeah. we're going to we're going to like, hey, you need to go try this place out to eat or, you know, you're going to you want to try this out or, you know, we're in the stadium. I think it's. It's not highlighted, but it's. I think it's being very showcased great on your journey here this week of just how welcoming this the city and the, the oh, fan base is. Man, I've never. Uh, yeah, I've never experienced yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, and I like the fact that all of you, you know, you mentioned the Angels, you know, like the, mm. their fan base over there. I, but I, I think that's cool and all. I think y'all should fucking hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you need a, pro, a proper scrap. <coughs> I think I think you need. I think that's like peaky just blinders. Be, yeah, yeah. The peaky blinders just show up. <laughs> pieces of wood. Just fuck <laughs> trout. You know, smell, you know, like stuff like that. <coughs> I think it's a missed opportunity. Well, no, I, yeah, I would. I would say it's a little different it's when it, when it comes to. When it comes to football, as in soccer, it's very different. Like, yeah. again, he's my friend Nick, but he's a Tottenham fan, and I'm a Chelsea fan. That doesn't mix very well. So, um, yeah, the, <laughs> it, when it when it comes to football, the the, the chat isn't quite so cordial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but of course. When, when it's when it's yeah, Astros and Angels. Yeah, I mean, we kind of also we kind of realized that the positions that we're in in, in the same same boat. Like, as in, we're mm. both trying to drive our, right. our, our, our kind of fan base over here is etc but no I, I agree with you no i like i like sport when there's like edge to it and i like yeah. i like it when like if, that's why this series was such a good one to come to the mm -hmm. rangers series because yeah. in the ballpark the you know like them like them or not there's a lot of rangers fans in there yeah, so you, you get their reaction when the rangers score a run and then when like that first game on on monday that was awesome because they were yeah. they, they were ah, you know after going three three runs up in the seventh and we're like right okay this is a problem and then we come back and the place was absolutely rocking minute made i'm so grateful to be able to experience that because obviously i've not been in here in october and i see that i can hear how it is when you know when it like jordan's walk off against the mariners i mean i honestly so envious of everyone that was was present for that for that game but um, but yeah, like I've had ex similar experiences in football crowds, but uh, like very like I know I know what that feels like. But to have it as an astro in an astro sense, I was so grateful to have that on Monday night for that walk off. It was oh, like yeah. Yeah. place was jumping, and honestly, it was yeah, I was you know I, I really felt that. And yeah. I, I agree with you. Then yeah. when you've got that, especially in the ballpark, you've got that kind of to and fro. Everyone's like yeah, and you know, the little yeah. bit of edge. That, that's really good. But I think the reason why we don't quite have it in the UK for the MLB side of things is purely because. We're trying not to put people off joining. Like, for example, with MLB UK community, when we've got our watch party events, we want to get fans of all teams mm. there. So if I, if I'm, if I, <laughs> if a Dodgers fan comes in and I'm like, fuck you, you know, <laughs> it's, like, it's like, like, that's not going to work. Yeah. So like, yeah, it's like, right. I've that never watched sense. baseball before yeah. and then, then she never watches it again. It's like, that's not going to work. So, no, no, no. So, so I literally have to, like, have, I have to, He's like, I'm 13. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I, that's, that's why we kind of have, we try to, 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 out, to, yeah, 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 to figure out where, when people are fully in enough to be able to take that kind of banter. Yeah, it's like, right, it's, yeah, we know, you know, we, we all know how it is. If if if, if, yeah. if 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 a fan of another team comes in, like like I said, 
being a jackass. I, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't yeah, say right. that word properly, and it can't yeah, say that in an yeah. English accent. And, and that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a great American but, um, accent. Just can't <laughs> 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 uh, But yeah, so it's it's like um yeah yeah I think if if you, if you if you can gauge it, you can tell that they're cool with it. Yeah, yeah. of course. I I think it will, it will wrap up because we're gonna be you know, yeah you have, a pack, sure. you have a packed schedule. But I just want to ask you about what your game six experience was like. Uh, every uh, yeah. I, everyone has a unique game yeah. six experience. What, what was yours like? And I, I want to really end it on that. Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to quickly, as I can, run through the thing. Basically, so um, we, like I keep mentioning our, the events that we hold, we work very closely with MLB Europe. There's a connection between MLB Europe and uh, a, a chain of restaurants slash bars called Passy and Avenue, who are Philadelphia themed. And um, oh, so great. obviously when the October started last year, they're like, oh, if the Phillies get further, we're going to do these events. So they got further and further. They're like, yeah, the Phillies want to run. They're getting way behind it. They were like, they were like, right, World Series coming up. There's a huge event, which I don't think they would have done had it not been the Phillies. They, they had Chase Utley in London at this event. It was, it was quite, it was cool meeting him and, um, you know, and, and seeing that, that was, that was cool. But, but so they did a huge event for game one. Pace was, the place was packed with Phillies fans. It must've been the ratio of Astros fans to Phillies fans. I, 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 I kid you not, it was like five Astros fans to 95. Gee, it, was, it was like damn. it was it was like right we're in enemy at least territory. they weren't actually that's, that's, from philly well yeah, okay. yeah. well, you, you would have been you, in trouble no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tough, well i think um yeah so so it was um we, we were heavily outnumbered it was like it was like right so we took the lead went five, five nothing up it's like yeah this is great and then obviously the rest of the game happens like right this is awful we finished at about six in the morning and it was like oh my god like can i can i just get home it's raining it was like this is awful but anyway so see this the series went as it went got to, we, we we went through that Game five, which I'm still scared about thinking about, it was such a nail biter. That ending, wow! Thank the God play for by Mancini yeah. and the Thank play goodness. by Mr. McCormick. Oh, Christ. Anyway, um, so yeah, so we got to that point, three two up. Right, I'm like, right, it's on. Another, they said we're gonna do another watch party for game six. I'm like, right, yes. So I'm, I, I DM'd every single UK Astros fan on all platforms. Come down. Let's go. We had, we, awesome. we had yeah, numbers great. there, man. We, we, we didn't really? have over fifty percent, but we had like honestly, it was like forty to sixty, and which is saying that's something. That's huge. Was, a jump yeah, from yeah. when Jordan hit that bomb, the place went fucking nuts. Oh, it was yeah. absolutely. Awesome. I've never experienced anything in the UK Astros yeah. wise like it. I, I was like, this is, <laughs> this is insane. And then we obviously we won it. And then, uh, like, I, I, I did that silly video of me with my flag near the London Eye, and it was, it was, yeah. and it was raining. I didn't care. It was like quarter to four in the morning. It was, it was, it was awesome. But like, um, four, that's awesome. Yeah, man. It was yeah. that was that was my experience of it. And um, yeah, it was, honestly, I wouldn't. Uh, as I've, obviously, I'd rather have been in Minute Maid, but like, yeah. uh, I wouldn't have changed it yeah, outside of, course, of that for the yeah, world. It was, yeah. it was, it was amazing. I mean, yeah, being in Minute Maid was pretty awesome. But but, yeah. the, but that experience sounds amazing. Watch that video. Oh yeah. Uh, but I just want I, before we go. I want yeah, to of course. Yeah, fire, anything you like, anything like. Yeah, um, the Queen, what's she like? <laughs> well, she's, yeah, I mean, she's not great now, but like, she's so quite hard to try talking to. She doesn't respond, but like, uh, but yeah. Yeah, wait, what happened? Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know. Um, all right, that's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, do y'all have barbecue? Is that a we, thing? We, we do, but it's not really worth mentioning. Yeah, right, 100%. All right, well. All right, <laughs> That was your list of questions. Yeah. That's, that's, you deserve a. Pulitzer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. I, I wouldn't, you know, put my own name out there, but you know, I uh, they come to me. If they come to me. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, George, this has been amazing. So obviously, you have still the rest of the week. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, uh, we're gonna get you out. Big City Wings, Edo. Uh, I'll get your location. Sweet. We're a little little going away pregame for mm -hmm. you, just because I know Sunday you're you're leaving pack, but Saturday. Uh, it's right there by the stadium. We'll have you out, and we'll tell everyone to come out and oh please and, yeah and hang out with George oh. for for a bit before the game. But um, plug your plug your socials and obviously yeah. Uh, honestly, that. firstly, thank you for having me on the, on the on the show. It's always been a pleasure being part of Apollo, um, and it's amazing to meet you guys in the flesh. Uh, and so if you want to follow me, it's at Astros Fans UK on Twitter, on um, Instagram, on Threads. If you actually use Threads, does anyone use Threads? Um, <laughs> uh, Facebook, it's George Martin with um, the my sort of custom Astros version of the Union Jack. So yeah, just get follow me. I, I don't care whether you've got one follower or two million, doesn't matter. I'm always happy to inter interact with Astros fans anywhere. So yeah. That's cool. awesome. And he's working on uh, another book, right? The uh, Game of Thrones? Yeah, I know. I, I've, I've, I've finished with the Beatles now, so I'm, 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 just, yeah, I'm working on that. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> George, George, that's George R.R. Yeah, George R.R. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not, not George, George Sturgeon. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, he's somebody, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you, George. And, thank you. Uh, the best crossover uh, we've ever had. Yeah. There you go. All right. Are we, you want to take us out, Josh? You take no, us out? you're the one who takes it you out. Take that, us out. I take Beyond the Diamond out. This okay. is around the moon. Well, let me... Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. George, once again, thanks for being here. Des, 
Hey, man, good job. Thanks. You did good. Um, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, Dad. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, really just so, so proud of you. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure you go follow Astros Fans UK on everything. Strokes across the globe. A lot of good interviews. I'm oh, looking yeah. at these. I'm, I'm interested in going back and, and listening to some of these that I haven't hear, heard. Um, so go check out this podcast as well. And like I said, hopefully get more going there too. And hell yeah, this is around, as you introed it, around the globe, moon, beyond the diamond, whatever Cross this over. is. Cross this over. is our own. It's around the It's our own universe. Infinity War, whatever. Yeah, it's All our right, universe. Guys. Later. See ya. Love you guys.